you can wear whatever you want. However, if you were looking to feel your best and look your best, as if your clothes were made specifically for you, the best way to do that is to dress according to your body type. Now, I'm not, I'm not one of them negative people. I'm like, oh, mm -mm, you can't wear this, you can't wear that. I'm trying to save you time and money because when you just buy things all willy nilly, you wind up with a closet full of clothes and yet you still ain't got nothing to wear. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best outfits for apple shapes. So keep watching. So what is an apple shape and how do you know if you have one? I hear you asking me. I'm gonna tell you. You have an apple shape if your waist width is wider than your shoulder width and your hip width. With this body shape, sometimes your arms and your legs are thinner, but you don't have a defined waist and that's fine. We're gonna talk about that. Now, remember an apple shape is a body shape. It is not a body size. So you can be a petite apple, you can be a plus size apple, you can be a tall apple, you can be a tall plus size apple, you can be a petite plus size apple. Apple is the shape and then, you know, we have varying sizes. So just get that, you know, let's get that together. So balancing an apple shape would mean that you're going to do some styling tricks or choose certain silhouettes that give the illusion that you have a more defined waist. We're gonna get into these outfit options now. A little disclosure here. Now, I'm not saying that all of the people in these photos have apple shapes. It's kind of hard sometimes to find specifically what I'm looking for that is also stylish because a lot of the apple body pictures that I found online were things like this. And while this is nice, not everybody's trying to wear a maxi dress everywhere. Oh, and also I'm not gonna mention where you can wear these outfits too, because the last time I just kept saying brunch and date night. <laughs> Y'all know where you can slay in these outfits, so let's get into them. Okay, first up, we have nicely tailored suits. And I have a white one here and a brown one here to prove my point that, you know, a lot of times people think you gotta hide a body in darker colors. No, no, no. <laughs> you can wear something all white or you can wear something dark if you want to and not everything dark needs to be black. You can wear a dark brown or navy blue, and but y'all know that. Now, the reason why these help to balance an apple shape is in the tailoring of the jackets. As you can see, there's a sensation, <laughs> not a sensation, a cinchation <laughs> at the waist area that is being created by the jacket that is going to give the illusion that you have a more defined waist. When you're looking at blazers, Definitely make sure that you pay attention to where the hemline of the blazer ends because horizontal lines, you know, the line that is caused by the blazer, those tend to shorten and widen. So if they end at a place where you're at your widest, it can make you look wider. It, and, and that's okay if that's what you were trying to do, but if you weren't trying to do that, then that's not what you were trying to do. And these are really great versatile looks that you can, you can pull apart the suit with a blazer with a pair of jeans for something more casual. You can pair the blazer blazer with a mini skirt if you want to kind of like sex it up a little bit. So the, the choice is yours, but the blazer is a really good option if you're looking to balance the apple. In this fall season, your outerwear is a really great piece that's going to be able to add on to your outfit, of course, because it's a little chilly out and you can put something on, but also your outerwear can help to balance your apple body type. Now, again, I, like I keep saying, like I said in the beginning, not everyone here is an apple shape. It's kind of hard to find, you know, images of specifically what I want. But this look here, first of all, I love the colors. I love this nice rosy pink paired with this like kind of like tobacco, kind of like caramel brown kind of color. The way that the trench is belted and cinched here is going to create the illusion of a waist. Now this person in particular is not an apple shape, but obviously this trick can still work for the apple shape if you're looking to balance and create the illusion of having a waist. So belting, definitely something to try out to balance an apple. Now remember what I said about horizontal lines, shortening and widening certain areas, you can be strategic with them. And this outfit is a good example. I I've actually found two different pictures of the same amazing person wearing this outfit. So this is actually where a horizontal line can work in your favor. If you have an apple shape and you're looking to 
uh, give the illusion of a defined waist. Because if you look at that top horizontal line, that top black one, it is giving like that, that waist kind of sensation kind of thing there. What's cool about this outfit is that there are several types of lines in here. So you've, obviously we just talked about the horizontal lines. It also has vertical lines. Vertical lines kind of keep the eye going up and down. So the eye is just, it elongates and make things look taller. It also uses diagonal lines and diagonal lines are really cool because diagonal lines can add curve. They can make something look slimmer if you wanted it to. So I love that this combines the horizontal, diagonal and vertical lines in this outfit. Really, really cool. Now next look, if you pay really close attention to the ruching or the knotting that she has in her dress, first of all, this dress on her skin tone, it's chef's kiss, right? But look at that cinching right there, like where the knot is and the ruching that's being created where that knot is on her dress. That is also a technique that can help to give the illusion of a waist. This is also a really cool technique that you can either buy a dress that has this type of detailing in it already, or you can do it with a little bit of styling. But this is something that's also going to give the illusion of a more defined waist. And of course, I love that it's layered with the coat. Now this next outfit is a very street style type of look. It's not gonna be everyone's personal style. But what I want you to look at is the fact that she has this belt on her coat. Now a belt, as we mentioned before, that is something that is also going to help to create the illusion of a more defined waist. So that's another option if you're trying to balance your apple shape. Now this look, which my girl Kelly B is slaying. I love the usage of volume here in the skirt, and I love that she balances the volume in the skirt with this very nice sheer, I think this might be a bodysuit. It's a, either a bodysuit or a close fitting top. I love the balance between that. And then the sweetness and the softness of the blush tones in the top and the skirt. It's toughened up a little bit with the leather moto jacket. Wait, this might actually even be culottes. Very much love this look. This is something that's also a street style look, but you can also wear this like on your regular day to day as well. Slade as per usual for Kelly B. Now let me know what you think of some of these balance outfits for apple shapes. And now we shall flaunt the apple shape. To flaunt the apple shape is to show off the midsection. And I'm gonna show you a bunch of outfits in different styles for different scenarios that do just that. Now this first outfit I love because if you look at it as a whole, you're like, oh my God, she's so fat fashionable. But if you break it down piece by piece, you might have these in your closet. It's just that you need to style them the way that this person has. So I love the button down. I love that the button down is open. I love that it's paired with, I don't know if this is a tube top or if it's like a crop top type of thing. And you have the jeans that are more of like a, I would say maybe like a mid rise jean. They're not high, they're not low. Showing off that midsection area. And I think this is the same person but I love that she paired this like really dressy type of uh, spaghetti strap tank with these really tailored pants, very, very cute. And a way to kind of like, like if you have somewhere and you need to be kind of like dressy casual, this is a really great outfit if you're looking to flaunt the apple body type. If it's a little chilly, you can throw a jacket over it, a blazer over it, or you can even put like a sheer shirt over it as well. I mean, the sheer shirt's probably not gonna do much to keep you warm, but it's a look. This next look I love because it's kind of like, it's, it's like, oh, I'm warm, but I'm still showing skin. So pairing these two, first of all, pairing these two colors together, like your winter white with more of like a cocoa kind of, light cocoa kind of color for the top. We obviously can't see what shoes she's wearing, but this would be cute with some over the knee boots. These would be cute with some ankle boots. It'd even be cute with some sneakers too. Now this next look, Look, you know, maybe for some of y'all going on your tropical vacations this time of year, or if it just happens to be warmer in your part of the country, then, you know, something like this might be great. But also, you can just throw on a blazer or a trench coat or something like that over it, or a cardigan over it if it's, you know, a little chilly. But I definitely like that this is kind of like a flaunt, but also a balance at the same time because of the shape that the skirt is taking on kind of helps to kind of like give that illusion of the cinching of the waist, but it's still kind of showing off the midsection. So it's kind of like a flaunt slash balance of the apple shape. And of course this person is not an apple shape, but I already told y'all it's hard to find photos that specifically give me what I want and also gives good style. But the commentary definitely applies to the apple shape. Bodycon, another great way if you want to flaunt that apple shape, bodycon is a great way to do it. You can wear it just like that if you want to display it all out 
Or if you're feeling like, eh, I kind of want to layer a little bit, you can layer. Layering does lend more towards balancing the apple shape, but you can have like a flaunt balance kind of situation going on there as well. I added this one in as well because it's a very stylish outfit, but when you break down the pieces, you're like, wait, I have a turtleneck. Wait, I have a mini skirt. Wait, I got some mid calf boots. You can put something like this together, probably with things that you have in your closet. This is a look that's really simple, but very fashionable. And if you could find a skirt with this like diagonal type of zipper or type of detailing on it, it is lending more towards a flaunt and a balance situation for the apple type. But like I said, this is a very cute and simple outfit and I'm pretty sure you got the pieces at home. This is a series on this channel. If you are a pear shape and you would like to know my thoughts on flaunting or balancing a pear shape, make sure you check out that video. If you have an, a, another body type, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and hit that notification bell because I'll be adding more body types along in the series. Now, coming up on this channel, I would actually like to you know, leave my apartment and go out into the stores. I'm thinking of doing something at Marshall's, but I kind of want to do it like, almost like it's a challenge. So you guys give me some ideas on certain looks to shop for at Marshall's. Now I might not actually buy it because you know, I might not be in the market for that. I can just create the outfit while I'm there in the store. But uh, let me know if there are outfit ideas you would like me to shop at Marshall's for. Leave them in the comments. I will look at them and consider them for future videos. Or if you have any other ideas of types of like outfits and fashion content that you would like me to look into, please leave them below. Follow me on social, the links will be in the description box because when I'm not here on my fashion YouTube channel, I might be on my skincare YouTube channel, but I might also be on TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook. You never know. Just click on everything and see if I'm there. <laughs> I'll see you fine folks in my next video. Bye guys.